After starting SBench 6, the Welcome dialog appears. You can create a new project, choose a project template, or open an existing project. An SBench 6 project includes all settings of the used hardware, all settings of the software, and the recorded data. In this case, we start with a new project. Insert a name for the project and check the project location on the hard disk. In this location, SBENT6 will create a new folder and inside there also a folder for data. Add a project description if you like. Click the second tab for some file settings. Recordings could just be kept in the cache memory or as a file on the hard disk. There's also an auto store function, storing each new recording in a separate file. We chose the cache setting. Under file format, you have the choice between SBENT6, pure binary, and WAVE. We stay with SBENT6. Furthermore, you can specify here whether larger recordings should be divided into smaller files during recording. By clicking the OK button, settings are done, and we can start our first recording. The project settings can be changed again at any time. Simply use the settings pull-down menu and click on project settings or use the settings button in the toolbar. To save the project, click the Save button anytime. Since we made the Store to Cache selection in the project settings, we're now asked if the recorded data should also be saved in the project. In this example, we save the data. So next time you open your project, all the data from your last recording will be displayed right away.